And I think where I want to start today is the biggest emphasis of that thought process in which the Bills are built or building to beat the Chiefs. And it's Von Miller, of course. This team we had felt for the last several seasons was a defensive D-line, a D-line pressure, a quarterback edge rusher away from being the team that can get over the hump, that can beat Kansas City, and that could in turn mean getting to the Super Bowl. And I think when you look at this game yesterday, and I want to kind of take this into you know a, a couple of different parts. We'll get to Von Miller in a sec because to me that's kind of where it all spearheads. But the reason I think that he is the biggest difference and the reason I think that when you look at how this team was constructed in the offseason to be able to capitalize on the situation they're currently in, the Chiefs and the Bills are so, they're so far separated from the rest of the league. You watch football as much as I do. Every other game, even, you know, especially in a situation like yesterday when the Bills are on at 425, you have the whole 1 o'clock slate to watch beforehand. You watch the rest of this league. And then the Bills and the Chiefs take the same field. And it, it's, not, it's almost like watching a completely different sport. And I have 100% got to tip my cap, as I always do, to this Kansas City Chiefs team. I don't come away from that game saying the Bills, they're better than Kansas City. I come away from that game saying it's those two teams and whoever gets the additional player two to go their way is going to win that game. That is as even, that is as even of a heavyweight fight as you're going to see in all of sports. And in, it's in its infancy. It comes mainly down to Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes, of course. And it just so happens that not only are those two teams completely separated from the rest of the league, those two quarterbacks are completely separated from the rest of the league. These two teams are so identical in their greatness, in their dominance, that yesterday, even though the Bills win, or even if the Kansas City Chiefs had won, you look at that game from both sides and say, damn, one, nobody better than us. Nobody better than us. Like Kansas City fans this morning, you don't hang your head at all. And if that game were to go a different way, if Mahomes doesn't throw the interception to Teron Johnson and they go to the distance and win it, I don't sit here today and say, damn, you know, we, we just aren't there yet. Both these teams, if you don't think the AFC is coming down to these two teams, you are out of your mind. What are you watching? Frankly, if you don't think the Super Bowl is going through one of those teams, that and, and you got people joking, and, I, and this is always the age-old joke, I hate this joke. Even though I didn't, I didn't mind seeing it when we were talking about the, the Dolphins winning uh, in week three over the Bills, because it did feel like they were celebrating a Super Bowl. But you see people saying, oh, the Bills got their Super Bowl win. I'm pretty sure even Nick Wright said that. If you look at that game and that's what you take from that, there's absolutely no way. The reason it feels like you win a Super Bowl yesterday is because that game might as well be the Super Bowl. What team is even touching the talent level that we just saw out on the field in Arrowhead yesterday? It is those two teams and everybody else is looking up. They're so identical in how incredibly great they are. And that's what makes this game in itself unbelievable. Th this rivalry is going, in, in, in you, and you're watching it in person. It's rare, I think, that you get to see something in its development, in the middle of its growth, and know that decades from now, it's going to be talked about in the light of the ones that we all grew up on that we will never forget. The battles between the greats, the all-time legends. You're watching it right here. There's no way you're not. Yet you saw what was out on that field yesterday on both sides. You want to talk about how similar in overall success that these two teams are. Go ahead and look at the stat sheet. You can have the argument all day, who's better, and, and, th and this goes for everyone here. You don't leave that game 
thinking, damn, like the Bills just proved that they're way better than the Chiefs. Or the Chiefs don't lose that game saying, damn, we, we, we lost our, our, uh, our hold on the AFC. You leave that team saying, damn, this is going to be the league until Josh Allen or Patrick Mahomes decides to hang the cleats up. Josh Allen, 27 of 40, 329 through the air. Patrick Mahomes, 25 of 40, 338 through the air. Almost identical numbers. Three touchdowns for Allen, two touchdowns for Mahomes. You look at the overall offense, they almost had the exact same amount of yardage, almost the exact same amount of yards per play, almost the exact same amount of first downs. And it was tied every single quarter up until it wasn't at the end. And I'm a fool. I tweeted out yesterday early on that the Bills defense was not playing nearly to the caliber of the number one defense in the league. And it got like, you know, 200 likes. And so that's telling me people are agreeing with me. And, and, I, and, I, and I look at it at the end of the game because I had some people at the end of the game. And of course, hindsight's twenty twenty. But I got people at the end of the game commenting on, you, you still thinking that now, bro? I mean, okay. Yeah, no, no, of course not. But it did hit me. And I'm glad those people kind of get, they kind of gave me some shit for it. Because it, it, it's true. I think when we, when we watch the Bills, we, of course, are in a very lucky territory where we have Josh Allen and we don't have to worry about facing him. And everybody else does. When you go into the game against the Bills, no matter what you got on your personnel, no matter how much momentum you got riding into that game, no matter what you got, you're going against Josh Allen. And that is not an easy feeling. And I got to tell you what. Every single game the Bills play, no matter who it is, I don't really get nervous anymore. Some games are way bigger than others. I got a bit nervous before the Ravens game just because you never know what you're going to get from Lamar Jackson. The, dude, the dude's incredible. And we saw that on display in the first half of that game, and then you understand why you know, that game makes sense. You're going to be a bit more nervous about that one than you would be playing the, the Panthers, right? But that's just, you know, that's common sense. But I'm, I'm, I don't ever go into a game without 100% full-fledged confidence, except for the Kansas City Chiefs. And then it hit me. That is what every team feels like when they play the Bills. I said it to my dad yesterday in the middle of the game. I said, and it, this was early on, and it's probably when I tweeted out that the defense wasn't playing nearly you know, top tier. Because the first drive when uh, Kyir Elam did get that incredible interception, the, the, the Chiefs walked down the field. And Mahomes was just, I mean, he was, and it's just the most goddamn frustrating thing ever. But he just waltz. It's not like Allen where it looks incredibly athletic and just like beastly. I mean, I don't know how Mahomes does it. It's like this ballerina bullshit dancing around on the tiptoes. It's almost like he's made out of uh, Vaseline. I, it's insane to me. And he just, and he'll, do, he'll do a little spin. You know, he'll, he'll, he'll I don't even, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's insane. It's insane. And they get white all the way down the field. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, this defense is great, but it's, it's just, it was built for this game. And right now, and I know, and this is the problem with, when it comes to having uh, a net, an internet connection, uh, a social media account, and two eyes watching a football game with unbridled passion that blinds you from anything else. You're, the first thing you say is, oh, they're not good. Oh, not what we thought they were going to be. This defense built for the Chiefs, and guess what? They're getting picked apart early on here. But in hindsight, after the game, when I can step back and look at the entire body of work of that defense, I think to myself, one, how extraordinary is it that they held that team to 20 points? Nobody does that. But two, it, the Chiefs are not going to be able, or the Bill, no team really, but the Bills are not going to be able on defense to give you this mind-blowing 
60-minute performance on defense against the Chiefs where you think domination, domination, domination. So I look at my dad in the middle of the game, or right after that drive, I believe, and I said, I, I don't know how to describe this. And I said, do you, do you feel this? Do you feel this too? I said, it, 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 it's, it's literally indescribable. There's this, there's this like black mass that I feel when, when, I, when we play these guys, when we play the Chiefs. It, it's like this, it's this force field, this cloud, this energy. I, I cannot describe it, but I feel so uneasy. I feel that every play is going to screw us. I feel like Mahomes is going to find a way to get the ball in the end zone every time he takes the, the snap. It's this force field. I cannot describe it. And he said he felt the same way. And I look at what I had said about the defense at that time, and I look back at it afterwards, and then I thought about the way things went and also who the Chiefs are, and, 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 that, and that's when it hit me. The Bills give that feeling that I'm describing to every other team in the league. And the only team that gives us that feeling is the Chiefs. And I'd imagine the only, feel, the only team that gives the Chiefs that feeling is us. And the Bills' defense, despite at times, I think, making Mahomes, you know, or, or allowing Mahomes to get down the field or whatever, I, I, it, I finally realized what, there's, not, there's only so much you can do. That's how great Patrick Mahomes is, and that's how great Josh Allen is. And it kind of just comes back to the original point here, where you're just watching greatness. Because that Bills defense is just as good as it gets. It just is. And, w- and once again, it was yesterday. But even so, Patrick Mahomes makes, you know, a handful of plays yesterday where you're just like, oh, my God. Like, no way. Just no goddamn way, man. No. No, no, no. And I want to blame the defense. But, but you, you, you look back at it and you can't. You just can't. It's just because that's how good he is. I mean, do you think anybody could really blame their defense when Josh Allen is quite literally hurtling over you or when he's throwing a ball? Or or like last week, for example, the the touchdown to Gabe Davis on Minka Fitzpatrick. How could Mike Tomlin take Minka Fitzpatrick to the sideline and scold him for that? He couldn't have played better defense. You you literally couldn't have played it better. There's there's nothing else you could have done. Nothing. Literally nothing. He was wearing Gabe Davis like a glove. And Josh Allen put it in the only possible spot where Gabe Davis could have caught it. And Gabe Davis, who is now once again yesterday, proved that he and Stephon Diggs are one of, if not the best wide receiver duo in the league, which is exactly what we were hoping it was going to turn out to be this year. You, you just throw your hands up and you just, and you just say, you just say, fuck. You know, you just, you, you literally just say, Fuck, what are you, you going to do? What, what are you supposed to do? So I, I, I'm glad that there were people who hopped in my mentions after that because I had forgot I even tweeted that. I completely forgot about it. But I'm glad people reminded me because it, it, it was something that I, I completely misspoke out of irrationality and out of just pure, and I, and I, and I commented this on the tweet. I said, this is what, this is what the rage and frustration that Patrick Mahomes causes me makes me think. His, his, and it's not even just him, too. I mean, we also forget Andy Reid. He's going to go down as one of the greatest offensive minds ever. I mean, the dude, can, all game yesterday, it was, just, it was tremendously coached by the Chiefs and Andy Reid. The game, if you play that game five more minutes, I mean, who knows how it turns out? Both sides. They could have kept going all day. It's the same thing with the divisional game. You just have greatness everywhere, all the way up from the, from the owner down on both sides of the field yesterday. But that defense, and I just, I just wanted to make sure that I, I address this. I, I, I just so pissed at myself for allowing even for a second to think that they were not showing up to that game early on because ultimately they were the complete difference. And, and it was just a, a, another dose of reality and, and, you know, kind of like 
smack in the face of, hey, remember who you're playing. The number one offense in the league and arguably the best quarterback in the league. And I don't really care to argue that anymore, really. I mean, Bills fans and Chiefs fans can have a day with it. I just don't care anymore. It, it's those two. I mean, fight all you want about it. I don't. No one's ever going to take take the crown. I mean, yeah, of course, the Chiefs have the argument for the MVP in the Super Bowl. I get that. But when we're talking about you know present day on the neutral on a field going at it, man. I mean, that's just that's that's world class, both sides. But the ultimate difference in this game was the defense, and they wound up making. One or two plays more than the Chiefs D did, and that was the game. And I got to give a lot of credit to the Chiefs defense in this one as well. You know, the Chiefs defense came in statistically not even close to what the Bills are. I think they were the 24th ranked passing defense. They played a hell of a game. I really thought the Bills were going to have a much easier time lighting the scoreboard up, and, they, and, it, and it, it, points did not come easy. Points did not come easy. Everything had to be earned. A lot of credit to the Chiefs D yesterday. But what you notice here is these two teams are so similar and these two teams are so great that every single time they play, it is going to come down to one or two plays that is going to absolutely break the opposing team fan base's heart when they lose. Every single one of these games from here on out, maybe an outlier here and there, but from here on out, it's going to be a heartbreaker every single time. The Bills just happened to be on the winning side of this one. We were by far on the other side of it in the divisional game with a heartbreak that'll last a lifetime. But yesterday, it's a heartbreaker for the Chiefs because, you know, they really just, they, they balled out. They did everything they could have done to win that game. But the Bills just made one or two more plays. And that's why when you want to have the argument as, you know, who's the better team in the league, who's the best team, who's the better team in the AFC, you know, and I don't even care to say AFC because it's just, it's the NFL, whatever. It's these two teams. And it's, this, it's the same argument with Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes. You can argue till you're blue in the face, but you look at the numbers, you look at the game through the eye test. I mean, it's just, it, it is just, it's those two. It's 1A, 1B. And it's just going to come down to what team can make an additional play or two. And where I will give the Bills the edge in my argument as to why they are the better team, it is because they do have those one or two guys on defense that the Chiefs don't that can change the game. That to me is, is the ultimate difference. The Bills went into that game with the better D. They went into that game with the better personnel on D. And when the clock struck zero, it was that defense that made the two or so plays that wound up winning the game for the Bills. Unbelievable game. Absolutely extraordinary. And I guarantee you we see round two at some point. You hope it's the AFC championship because anything before that would just be an absolute shame to not only Bills and Chiefs fans, but the NFL. And that's the other thing, too. I mean, it's not just us fans. And, 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 and Chiefs fans in here, and of course, Bills fans, I mean, you know it, but I mean, we just have, you know, our team is what the league wants, it, it wants to watch. I mean, everybody, everybody who has even a remote interest in football was tuned into that one yesterday. And it's not just because of the names or, you know, the revenge game, the rematch. It's because if you like football, you can't dislike what that was because that is as good a football as you're ever going to see. And that's the way it's going to be every time these two face off.